Monica, how do you feel about women's ordination in the LCA? I've always been in favour of women's ordination. and Actually, I come from a, a family of pastors. My grandpa migrated to Australia to, to minister here. My dad ministered here. And then came my generation. And I was probably always the chosen one, except that it, it precluded me. Um, and so it certainly has skipped my generation. And the rate things are going, it's skipping the next generation too. But it's going to be lovely by the time it gets to my granddaughter's generation. I think then, um, when women's ordination is just the way it is here in Australia, she would have an opportunity to be ordained. You were instrumental in the setting up of Jacob's Ladder back then. I'm thinking that uh, if women were ordained, that you may have been up there. Who knows? Certainly that was um, always a suggestion because I was outspoken with my faith when I was a, a much younger person. You've got a good memory. <laughs> what do you think women's ordination might add to the LCA? Women bring balance to life, I believe. Um, and it's, it just doesn't make sense. It never has made sense to me that it's such a male-dominated institution. Women have different attributes from men and together with men I think then they would bring a good balance to what we have now in our church. Do you know women who would be suitable for ordination? Well as a matter of fact I do and I've met several women from other countries who were ordained and um, interestingly enough I have two cousins, <laughs> so that is my generation, who have um, studied very much with a view to being ordained but um, they're now we're, we're almost all at retirement age. So yes, I do know so many. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Oh, I'm just looking forward to, to the day. Thank you. Thank you.